Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane and I'm back today with a second stimulus check update video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the $2,000 stimulus check and how it just got a little bit sweeter with those Senate races in Georgia, so it may be coming to our account soon. Then we're also going to talk about some stimulus checks are actually being garnished, as well as what is going on with this IRS Get My Portal. Why is it saying you're not getting the payment? So we're going to talk about that and what it means in going on with the portal. Okay, and then we're going to discuss how with unemployment, there may be $100 boost coming to some others so that means four hundred dollars of unemployment yes 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 and then we have some hazard pay some grants and more so if you want to know what is going on in the lovely world of stimulus my darling you already know what to do stay tuned your girls got you covered now if this is your first time tuning into my channel hi hello hey friends my name is Shalay, and here on this channel we talk about shopping saving and everything in between i would love to have you a part of my internet family super easy click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in just like that tim while you're at it go ahead and give me a like because it's wednesday i'm your woman crush wednesday yeah and you like my shirt guys this shirt came from h&m we talk about shopping here it was a h&m ten dollar shirt that's why i picked it up go grab you one okay it's not sponsored as well as though you can buy my ebook and planner now that is sponsored all right so let's go ahead and talk about it Chuck Schumer said the $2,000 stimulus checks are one of the first things that we want to do. He said it feels like a brand new day. Now, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer expects that the soon to be $2,000 checks is one of his first priorities in the Senate. He said, hey, the optimism of the two Georgia Senate victories on Wednesday, he said, since both Democrats are set to cinch both seats, that would be a 50-50 split, which we know that it will be Vice President-elect Kamala Harris that would offer the tie-breaking vote. He said, I said what I said about the checks is one of the first things we want to do once we are in the, our new senator seats, they campaign for it. Now, also, Bernie Sanders has pressed Joe Biden about these $2 stimulus checks as well. And, you know, Uncle Bernie said, look here, promises must be kept. He said, hey, you pinky promised, right, that you were going to deliver these $2,000 checks. He said that means not only $2,000 direct payments, but an aggressive agenda that recognizes the economic desperation facing so many Americans. He said one step they can chart the course, not just for the next four years, but for the next generation. And he said, by electing John and the Reverend, you can make an immediate difference in your own lives, the lives of all people across the country, because their election will put an end to the block in Washington on the $2,000 stimulus check. So he added that the money, remember Joe Biden added that the money will go out the door immediately to those people that are in real trouble. So, hey, I mean, we're getting a little step closer to it. You never know. Never say never. All right, so moving along with these stimulus checks, the IRS says some people will not get the $600 directly that you will need to actually claim the funds on your 2020 tax return. Now, hey, I'm just the messenger, right? So according to the IRS, if you haven't received your check direct deposit and you've been going on that get my payment portal and it's giving you some information, this is what they had to say. They said if the get my payment portal reflects a direct deposit date and a partial account information, then that's where your payment will be deposited at. If the Get My Portal reflects a date your payment was mailed, it could take up to three to four weeks for you to receive the payments. We know everything that's going on with the US Postal Service. They said watch your mail carefully for a check or a debit card. Then the last one, they said if the Get My Payment Portal shows payment status number two, not available, then you will not receive a second economic impact payment. Instead, you will need to claim the recovery rebate on your 2020 tax return. They said because of the speed of the law, which is required by the IRS to issue the second round of payments, they want to get the payments out by January 15th. But they said as of right now, if your financial, your financial institution returned the payment to the IRS, they cannot hold it at all. Like if your account closed or you got different things going on, then at that time, they will have to go in and try to receive you 
like send you out another payment. But the best thing that they're advising people to do right now is just to file their 2020 tax return electronically, and then you can claim the rebate on there. So I know I get it, but that's what they said. Directly it says, some payments may have been sent to an account that was closed or is no longer active or unfamiliar. By law, the financial institution must return the payment back to them, to the IRS, and then at that point, you will receive a not available on there for your payments. So, hey, that's what they got going on, guys. I know it's not what you want to hear, but hey, that's what's going on. Now, in Virginia, some stimulus checks are being garnished despite the new state law. So we know that from the first round of stimulus checks that it was supposed to be, hey, with this check, it cannot be subject to creditors. But certain people in Virginia are saying that, hey, they are having challenges with getting their stimulus checks. So according to one mother in Virginia, she said that she owes her bank. And then at that time, they were going to garnish her stimulus check. And so representatives from Spanberger's office, the Virginia Attorney's General Office, and the Virginia Department of Social Services are trying to figure out why this is happening to so many people. If you are having this issue right now, call the state's consumer protection hotline. The number is one 800 552 nine nine six three and this is only for virginia guys so i told you some states are doing you know a little bit of you know that i don't know it's a little strange for this change okay now states are actually preparing to pay 100 dollars unemployment boost to mixed earners but delays are expected so you remember when the department of labor released guidance and they said hey certain people will qualify for an additional $100 weekly boost. That was from the $900 billion rescue package. And on there, it said that workers with multiple income streams who earn the bulk of their pay through a 1099, like a contractor, like YouTube, okay, or self-employment work, but are receiving a artificially low benefit based solely on their W-2 earnings, then you are eligible for this $100 boost. So as long as you are receiving at least $1 in state unemployment benefits and you have earned at least $5,000 in self-employment income, then you will be eligible for an additional $100 per week effective December 27th through March 14th. Now, people who start a new claim this year will have to prove your earnings of at least $5,000 from the 2020, but the extra $100 will be on top of your $300 federal weekly enhanced benefits as well. And people on long-term benefits, like through the PEUC or their state's extended benefits, you're eligible for the $100 as well. So on there, it's gonna be according to each state and how they do it, but a lot of times the PUA, it really supports like those self-employed and gig workers without your traditional wage income, and you're not usually um, you know, eligible for anything else. So, hey. You can check through your state and see if they're going to do the boost. So far, most states have agreed to give the boost according to the mixedincome.org with the exception of Idaho, Mississippi, South Dakota. And of course, we know that South Dakota was the only state that didn't apply for the lost wages as well. But Mississippi, why are you in there? Now, with this $100 boost, guys, it's not going to be automatic as well. Payments could take up to several weeks for it to arrive as well. And Mississippi can change their mind. New states can sign up on the agreement to cover the weeks as well. But you can get an extra $100 as well. All right, so moving along with hazard pay. So if you are in Virginia, the hazard pay is, is going to be distributed throughout January per the Department of Medical Assistance Services. So many home health care workers may be wondering why you haven't received your hazard pay just yet. We know that your governor, Ralph, has said that the payments from the CARES Act will go out to workers on January 1st on there, but they said the payments began last Friday and will continue throughout the month. So the exact timing or when workers will receive their check depends on when the employee, the employee worked for the individual or for an agency. It also depends on when your information is processed. But if you are a medical worker, thank you so much for your service. You may be getting something in Virginia. Now in San Francisco, 
Okay, San Francisco considers $5 hazard pay for a grocery worker. So the San Francisco Board of Supervisors are expected to take a resolution to adopt an ordinance that will give grocery workers a $5 pay per hour. And they said this will mean that the compensation for the risk on being on the front lines during the pandemic. Also, it means extra support in financial and certain times. So it's not, this is not the only city that's doing it in California. I know LA County just advanced to another level and it was some other city in California that already adopted it. So who knows, my darling, you could be getting an extra $5, but according to them, they said some of the unintended consequences could be a first off the effect of the passing of the cost to the consumers to the food prices. And they said that they acknowledge that this may not be a lot, but they want to do something in the Grocers Association ad that many stores are giving out bonuses and extra pay. So they are on your side. So there you have it guys. That's all for the news today. On there, don't forget to purchase my ebook, buy my planner, you know, enjoy your family today. Always check me out live, I think, you know. So let me know if you was on the live, submit your questions to Ask Chalet, and yeah, I will talk to you later. Bye guys.